In this video, you will learn how to convert terminating decimals into fractions. Fractions and decimals are both ways that we can name values that lie in between whole numbers. They both name parts of a whole. They can name the same value. We can rename a fraction as a decimal, and we can also rename a decimal as a fraction. Here are some really important conversions to try to memorize. It'll be really helpful in the future. One over one, well, that's equal to one. One over two, or one half, is equal to 0 0.5, or 5 tenths. This is a terminating decimal. Terminating means it stops. It doesn't repeat. It doesn't go on randomly forever. It stops after the first five. One third, however, is 0.33333, repeating forever and ever. We can rewrite that as 0 0.3 with a bar over the three to represent that it repeats. This is called a repeating decimal. It never, ever stops. It repeats forever. One fourth is equal to 0 0.25 or 25 hundredths. This is a terminating decimal. One fifth is equal to 0 0.2 or 2 tenths, which is also a terminating decimal. One eighth is equal to 0 0.125 or 125 thousandths, another terminating decimal. And one ninth is equal to 0 0.1111111, repeating forever and ever. This is a repeating decimal. Another way we can write it, instead of just writing 11111 dot dot dot, is a 0.1 with a bar over the 1, because the 1 repeats. When converting numbers from decimal to fraction or fraction to decimal, it's important to understand your decimal place value and really understand and know what each of those places is called. In this example, 0 0.123, or 123 thousandths, the one is in the tenths place, the two is in the hundredths place, and the three is in the thousandths place. This also means that there is one tenth in this number. There are two hundredths, and there are three thousandths. Here you can see the fraction one tenth, and that is equal to the decimal 0 0.1. Those extra zeros at the end on the right side of the decimal, they don't mean anything. We could get rid of them and it would still have the same value. If we were to change that fraction from one tenth to nine tenths, then we would replace the one in the decimal with a nine. Nine tenths is equal to 0 0.9. The fraction one one hundredth is equal to the decimal 0 0.01. There are no tenths, but there is one one hundredth. The zero is really important in this situation, the one that's right before the one, because if we were to put the one right after the decimal, that would mean one tenth. So it's important to note that there are zero tenths, but there is one one hundredth. The fraction 27 one hundredths is equal to the decimal 0 0.27, which can also be said as 27 hundredths. For the fraction 1 1 thousandth, we have to put the 1 in the thousandth place. So 1 1 thousandth is equal to the decimal 0 0.001, because there are no tenths and there are no hundredths, but there is 1 1 thousandth. Here's the fraction 123 1 thousandths. The way we place this in, as a decimal is we have to take the last digit of the top number and place it in the one thousandths place. So the three goes in the thousandths place, the two goes in the hundredths place, and the one goes in the tenths place. 0 0.123. This one's a little interesting. 1,234 one thousandths. That top number is bigger than the bottom number. If you remember from elementary school, you know that the top number being bigger than the bottom means that this fraction is greater than one. Let's see how we make it into a decimal. Remember that last digit is what has to be in the thousandths place. So we'll put the four in the thousandths place, the three in the hundredths place, the two in the tenths place, and the only place the one can go now is in the ones place. So 1,234 one thousandths is equal to one and 234 thousandths. 
And now if we look at 23 one thousandths as a decimal, that's going to be 0 0.023 because we have to place the three, the last digit, in the thousandths place. Three in the thousandths, two in the hundredths, and that leaves zero for the tenths. So the decimal has to be 0 0.023. Let's look at a few examples of problems you might have to do. Example number one, write 0 0.7 as a fraction. The first step is to say it out loud correctly using the place value terminology. 0 0.7 is actually 0 and 7 tenths. Now we write it as a fraction. 7 tenths, that's easy enough. And that's exactly what it looks like, 7 tenths. So 0 0.7 or 7 tenths as a decimal is equal to 7 tenths as a fraction. Example number two, write 0 0.482 as a fraction. First, we need to say it out loud correctly, 482 thousandths. And now we write it as a fraction, 482 over 1,000. But both of those numbers are even. We need to simplify. Both the numerator and the denominator are divisible by 2, so we can divide them both by 2 in order to simplify. That will give us 241 five hundredths, and that cannot be simplified any further, so we will leave it at 241 five hundredths. Example number 3, write 0 0.075 as a fraction. Say it out loud correctly, 75 thousandths. And now write it as a fraction, 75 one thousandths. But both of those numbers can be divided by five and also by 25, so let's simplify. Divide both the top and bottom by 25. 75 divided by 25 is three, and 1,000 divided by 25 is 40. That gives us the fraction 3 fortieths. So 0 0.075 or 75 thousandths is equal to 3 fortieths as a fraction. And finally, example four, let's try a number that has a whole number and a part. Write 3.5 as a fraction. Start by saying it out loud correctly, 3 and 5 tenths. And then we write it as a fraction, the way that it sounds, 3 and 5 tenths. But 5 tenths can be simplified. So we're going to change that and divide both the top and the bottom number by 5. We don't need to do anything at all with the 3. We leave it alone because it's still 3 whole. It's worth 3. 5 tenths divided by 5 over 5. 5 divided by 5 is 1. And 10 divided by 5 is 2. So 5 tenths is equal to 1 half, meaning 3 and 5 tenths is equal to 3 and 1 half. Now you should know how to convert terminating decimals into fractions. Thanks for watching.